Hello, welcome to Bricks Assemble. Today I'll be going over some purest customs and how to make them from the Wing Feather Saga. If you don't know what that is, it's a pretty good book that I like, and I decided to make some customs from them. And I just decided to go ahead and do a purist. I usually don't do purist, but I decided to do it this one time. So, this is the Wing Feather family. I highly suggest this the book. It's really good. And so we'll start with Poto and we'll work our way down to Pete. So for Poto, um, he's the grandpa and he used to be a pirate. So he's like old and but he's like really strong in the book and he has a peg leg. So I used a Indiana Jones hat or a cowboy hat and then a Lord of the Rings sword because it's bigger and it kind of matches him or yeah, a sword but they used it in Lord of the Rings series and then we have a Owen face a mad one or a happy one if he's happy you know I'm using the mad side and then we just used a Santa beard the Owen torso and a peg leg which I think matches how I imagine him when I read the book perfectly. I don't know about you, but that's what I use to make mine. And you can always make your own changes according to what pieces you have. Um, then we have Tink. I have this Batman face for him. Um, you can use whatever face you think matches him the best, but I thought this smile really matched him, so I used it. Headband kind of blends in with his hair, which is just this type of hair. We used this robe piece I had that belonged to that Freemaker Adventures Jedi Sith girl. A uh, quiver, some short legs, and a bow. Then we have Janner. I gave him a sword, but not a big one. I just gave him like a dwarf sword or a gladiator sword because it kind of because he's supposed to be short. He's supposed to be like in between um, Poto and Tink. But I don't have one of the in-between legs, sadly, from the Harry Potter series. And if I did, I'd totally use those. So if you have anything like that, use those. I have a Jawa torso. This off-brand backpack I have, just give him a backpack, though. I think this off-brand custom backpack looks better, though. And then this rubble face and this swerved orange hair. For Lily. I have this face that I don't know who it belongs to, that I just own, and then like it has like a dirty side, which could like match her sometimes. And then I have this hair, this torso, I think it's from Ninjago. Uh, this little, I, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> it's on my tip of my tongue, but this, um, and then just some short legs. And, yeah, it's pretty simple. For Nia, their mom, we have, not Nia from Ninjago, I have this peasant, or peasant hair. And then the rest is just a ray. And then my favorite character, Pete the Sockman, or Artham Wingfeather. We have him when he is not Pete the Sockman, but the Birdman. So, spoiler alert, real quick, wait, don't look, spoiler alert if you haven't read the book yet. But, yeah. So, I got him at, in, as in the second book. I have not read the third or fourth one yet. So, please don't spoil it in the comments, even though I have a friend who has spoiled, like, half of it to me already. But, I gave him the this little back piece and then the wings, these wings I got. Um, This white hair, a uh, thorn oak and shield face, which I think matches him. Even for Pete, Pete the Sockman, I'd use the same face. Then we have his talons, which is just golden claws, which kind of look like talons, and just some legs. So yeah, these are all my Wings Feather Saga customs. I think Podo and Arts and Wing Feather are my favorite looking ones, and then Pink Close Behind. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and go read the book. See you in the next video.